we talked about status of women in Islam, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated the woman as equal. This is a very important question. Why there, are, there have been such disparity between the status of men and women in history and even today? Who said so? So always ask this question. And you mentioned it beautifully in your talk. Karramna bani Adam, number one. Allah elevated the status of a human being. That's why I get so offended, I have a cat. When somebody look at me and says, oh, the mother of the cat, I was like, a'udhu billah. No, I really mean it, because that's very common culture. And I was like, no, karramna bani Adam. Human beings are elevated. You are a human being, you're elevated. You're honored, that's number one. The status of men and women, it depends what are you looking. Culture, that's not deen. Learn to separate. There is things that men does, women doesn't do in deen, yes. The hikmah, there is wisdom, there is, needs another whole program about that. But as Allah elevated your status as a mother, I say this all the time, does the man feel super inferior because you are a mother? Why do we feel inferior if we don't do things the man does. Did you get my point? Don't let this go into you. You have been elevated status by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, as a human being. Number two, as a woman. Mother or not a mother, but in general, in his own way, subhanahu. And we are equal in the reward and what we are going to be asked about.